I'm so excited to read this book to you today. I love this book. And it's called Bigu, and it's by an author named Alexis Deacon. And it's a little bit of an old book, so it might look a little tattered. The story is timely and terrific. And on the title page, there is a picture of a spaceship that has crashed to Earth. Igu was not supposed to be here. She was lost. Nobody seemed to understand her. She's going around to the rabbits. They're like, hmm? And then she goes to the tree, bloop, and the tree's like, ah. And some wouldn't even stay still to listen. Bloop, bloop. She's trying to talk the leaves. Uh, she just doesn't know. From far away, she thought she heard her mother calling. Do you know what this is? It wasn't her mother. In the olden days, we used to have telephones and boxes like this, and people would go into a phone booth and make a phone call. That's what was making the noise. Bigu didn't like being alone. She needed to find some friends. And she did at last. Look at that, she found a box of puppies. Oh, they're all snuggled all around. <laughs> Look, she's all excited. Her ears go up. <laughs> the box was left outside a building that says Stray Dogs Home. And the man that came out of the building in the morning said, What on earth? But Bigu wasn't wanted here, it seemed. Oh, he put her away from her friends. Then she thought she found the perfect place. And it was. Look at her. She's doing the hula hoop and the jump rope at the same time. And all the kids are laughing. <laughs> Uh-oh. Look at this teacher. Not everyone thought so. I would never be a mean teacher like that. Wait! Her friends wanted to say goodbye. Here they are coming. Oh, look at her ears are straight up. She's happy. She's getting lots of hugs. Oh, and they gave her something. And she says, goodbye. Once again, from far, far away, she thought she heard her mother calling. But she knew it couldn't be. Oh, so look at there she is, holding on to her whole loop, sleeping on the cold pavement. Could it be? It was her mother! They pulled her up into their new fixed spaceship. Look at how tiny she is. There's her mother and her dad and they're giving her hugs. Biku told her parents all about life on Earth and how Earth creatures were mostly big and unfriendly but there were some small ones who seemed hopeful. Look at their ears are up, they're interested. They look curious. Bigu would always remember the small ones. And she hoped that they would remember her too. The end.